You know what, Eric? I almost forgot. What is this 3D printed blade you got here? What's yeah. This, what do we got going on here? Yeah, this is this is a collab. Well, this is one of the first designs. We're, we're not we're not completely done. There, we're going to shorten it up a little bit. But this is this is a collab with Heart of Texas Armory. They're they're a a, a, a larger gun store. They've got an e-commerce uh, shop. This is one that they reached out to us and said, "Hey, we love what you do." As far as on the EDC side, and we want you to make us a knife. And this is the the Malvado, which is the wicked or the evil, and and that's that's uh, that's what we're doing doing for them. I don't have uh, one in actual steel yet because we're we're still in the 3D print process, and that's what we do is we'll design, we'll show them the pictures, we'll put we'll print it in 3D. And we just sent this to them, uh, a couple versions of it, and and uh, and they just came back with some changes by by putting their hands on it. So it's gonna have it's cut out. You can't see it, but to make it light, this is a worn cliff. Obviously, I put a harpoon on it just for aesthetics and to create the swedge and to persian out persian out the swedge to strength to give some flex into the tip. And then I put a thumb ramp on it because, and like most guys who do actually do knives or draw a dagger and a, and a one cliff are really, they're hard to scale up to larger handles because they just don't, they just don't look right. You, you know, you know what I mean? So that's why you'll see a one cliff and a smaller handle and you're going to see some similarities. So what, what the Alaris, and this is essentially a shrunken down Alaris handle. We've had so many compliments and so much positive feedback on the on the omni positional handle that I just decided to use it. And the the uh, Neil, the owner over at of OTA, you know, Heart of Texas Armory, they 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 love this. You know, he loved the handle, loved the ergonomics, and wanted to. And I almost wish they don't shrink the. Blade I don't. Down. <laughs> I don't think they should. We've had this discussion with them, and they want to get it down to about because right now it's three and it's, um, three and a quarter inches. Yeah. And it's super, it's super, super light. Dude, that so, would be such a, I mean, I would correct. take that with the calculator as a, a yes. wicked self Yes, yeah, absolutely. Right and and they're, they want to shrink the pummel, uh, like on the minis. Oh, okay. They want to shrink the pummel, which is fine. Um, and we're going to keep the thumb ramp. And if you can see on the thumb ramp, the, the jimping is going to be knurled. So it's 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 super super yeah. non invasive, uh -huh. but what he wanted this for is a is not just a fighting knife, but a knife that you're going to use every day. He, he says I'm I'm opening boxes all day long. I work. I want a knife that's going to be wicked sharp. It's still going to be 18 some 75 thick, and with the Warren Cliff style, it's going to be it's going to be super super sexy yeah but and we're we're actually looking at uh where's it at let me let me find it i just i just purchased some uh here here it is that is man this would yeah oh, put yes. those two up next to each other that just be a, like some of these some some of these are going to be done in this is uh german i i, I don't We'll put once we get further along in, but this is German tank barrel from the Leopard tank. Some of these are going to be made out of that. Oh wow! That's so cool. we'll use we'll use. There's going to be some done with Jesse Hempel's um, uh, Damascus. There's another gentleman we haven't spoken to him yet that we want to use. So there's and and then some German tank barrel uh, Damascus that was made by and I'll 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 go get their permission to use their name. Um, and then I'll edit, I'll send it to you and then we can edit it in. You All can right. put it in the, in the description, but, um, we're going to do wood. We're going to do carbon fiber. Um, obviously G10, you know, to kind of, we're, we'll have different, different price points. Yeah. You know, some guys they want S35 VN is, is what the production steel is going to be done in, but some of it is so there, there, there'll be a different kind of level of, for, for this knife. Because oh, I, I, I think this knife is going to sell really, really well. And, and when these get made, are they going to be available 
exclusively through that gun yes, dealer. Yes, yeah, through through um, Heart of Texas Armory. They'll they'll that's exclusively their their design. Neil, they're they're good. They're they're good. They're good folks. I like having them as a dealer. Um, check them out. Um, you know, Hota. They uh, they're 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 good folks. Cool. Awesome, man. That's gonna be slick, man. Well, thanks all for right, sharing bro. that with us, Eric. We greatly appreciate right, it again. All right, guys. I think I'm yeah, gonna. Great. All right. Stay safe. Stay sharp.